Today we got a Meekin clock. I think it's called Meekin. And it seems to be in pretty good shape. Just dirty. The main thing you look for is it's got a plastic housing. And if you're going to pay top quality for these things, you got to make sure they're all in real good condition. This one seems to be in very good condition. Now let's go ahead and take it apart so we can clean it. What I'm going to start with, I'm going to go ahead and take these hands off. Oh, and by the way, if you're going to pay top price, unless you can get a good deal like I did, you want the pendulum, which is what, neon green or something like that. It's clear plastic. has a bob on it. And also the weight that is pink, and then they brushed it with gold. And these are lines around compared to... A normal weight that has the pine cone look to it. So once you got that undone. The next thing you do is it's got a Phillips screw right here. If you take that off, then this wood plate will slide down. And that's what the works look like. The pendulum also operates the eyes moving back and forth. So the next thing we have is the four Phillips screws in here. And as we take the works out, this wire comes down and jerks back up, but it goes through the hole in the pendulum here. So you want to be careful with that. Before we forget, we better go ahead and take off the ring which obviously it, it's made so the pendulum always sticks out so you have a oh, seven eight inch piece of chain in between Down the far end, it's got the bigger pendulum, or not pendulum, bigger ring on it. Now we should be able to pull that through. This is a one day clock. Okay, now then to be as careful as possible. I think I need to 
actually bend that wire straight so we can get it off a lot easier. Which is easier said than done. And I got it a little bit straighter so I can get it off of there. Maybe. There we go. So overall, this actually doesn't look that bad. You can see it's dusty and whatnot. You see that dust? So what I plan on doing is just brushing this off. I'm not going to take it apart this time because it is so clean. I'm just going to put it in the cleaner and let us do its thing. And then we'll re-oil this and see how well it works. Set it in the cleaner. Oh, and by the way, this here gear fell off. It goes obviously to where your uh, hands are. It's good to take it apart so you can get it cleaned in here and give it a very light oiling. Now, I will admit this is a, what we'll call it, a cheap, cheap little works. But the deal is, is it's unique and it's a Disney clock. And that's what's, and let's say, 70s, I think, these things came out. And that's what makes them kind of desirable, too, is the kids in the service will say their dads have ordered them and brought them home or had them sent home. This here, I went ahead and wax with the beeswax is a feeding wax it does say wood polish and conditioner on here but I need to give it a little bit of something but now it has a bit of a shine back to it as if it was new. So the Mickey Mouse work, I noticed that the end here is bent down a bit. I'd just soon have it level because that's about what it's supposed to be in the clock. So now that's straight. Now I'll go ahead and oil it. And this is an old clock. I don't know if it makes a difference. But I do have regular clock oil and that's what I'm going to use on this this here is really nice it puts the oil out and sucks it back up in case you're looking for one of these oilers if you do a lot of oiling of clocks this is what I'm using to find it normally you'd have to look under uh, the oilers for watches that's where I found this one. Put a dab of oil where the winder is. And each one of these places where the bearings, or not bearings, where each one of the gears come through.
I slipped on that one. I had to soak some of that oil up. You want enough oil, the oil, each one of these, but you don't want the oil to be sitting there because that's what causes the dust to cling on. So I'll just take a tissue and dab it just to soak up anything that's left over. And then myself, I like to put just a little bit of oil on here for this to fit on. And there we have it, ready to be installed. Now on this clock here, I have to get the eye wires hooked up through here and back out again. Now I can put my four screws in. See the wires hooked up to the pendulum, I think. Right here. So here you can see a little nail, possibly, and there's a little nail there. It's been driven in there and the head chopped off, I'm going to guess. And what that's there for is so once your clock is set up against the wall and you have it level so the tick-tock sounds right, then you can kind of push the clock into the wall or it actually just grabs the wall. And that way, when you wind it, this thing doesn't move back and forth so it doesn't, uh, so the ticking will come off. So our next thing is to take this board and slide it up in here, get it up over the wood, get that hole lined up, and stick the screw in there. Let's go ahead and put the hands on. We don't have any cuckoo sound or anything, so we're not concerned about where we're going to put it. I'm just going to go ahead and stick this up right on the hour, or the 12, I should say. Well, let's take a look after we put this hand on. This here is long gated, I guess we'll call it. Put the little nut on. Tighten that up a little bit. So bring that to 12. Let's bring it to 1. So that way I can see this. And this needs to be moved over just a little bit. To Pointing at the dot. Now we're ready to put the chain in. And actually, I shouldn't have put this back on yet. Let me pick, take the back off so we can get the chain in a lot easier. So it's winding this way, so that's how we're going to put the chain in. Get it on there. And start winding it and turning this around so the chain doesn't bind up into the gears. And here it's coming out. Right 
have that. Now we can go ahead and put this back on. And watching your chain, this one's pulling down. So the one that pulls down will get the big ring. There we have it nice and even. Then the other one would obviously be the chain, or excuse me, the weight. which takes this piece here. That's going to stop there so the weight will stick out. So here you go. Now a secret on these clocks, if you happen to have the original pendulum they don't take much to screw these things on. And when people do screw them on too much, eventually these things will start bowing. What you can do is unscrew this, take the pendulum off or the bob off, turn this over like this one already has been and snug it into place again. And that's going to straighten this out better than what it was. Now before I hang this on the wall, I'm going to go ahead and put my level up against it, listen to it tick, and see if it sounds right at level. And that sounds really good. I'm level. So, let me stick another nail up on the wall and put this up there. These are very simple clocks. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Mickey Mouse clock and taking it apart to a certain point. No, I didn't tear the works apart because they were clean and normally don't get used that often but anyway because it's free go ahead and go down below click subscribe and i'll show a few more clocks coming up and who knows some of my life so anyway thanks a lot leave a comment down below if you'd like to just say hi that's great with me and we'll see you next time